or somebody sent me a question, my opinion, on the possible Mayweather versus McGregor fight that might be happening. Asking me about my opinion about it. Um, no, I, I highly respect Mayweather. I think that Mayweather is one of the, probably one of the best boxers to ever live, you know, and pound for pound, one of the best ever. Um, I love his boxing style, very defensive, um, and he barely takes hits. And there's even a video out there saying, you know, you know, like the hardest hits that Mayweather ever even took. He never even lost a fight, you know, a boxing match. And you could literally count and, you know, how many times he actually got hit hard. And I think he's one of the very few boxers out there who who's going to basically be able to live longer, um, even though it's a very dangerous sport. Because the thing about it, boxing, it's only dangerous if you get hit hard. But if you never get hit and you're, on, you're the only one delivering the hits to the people, then it's dangerous for them, but it's not dangerous for you. Um, but just the repetitiveness of it, like constantly boxing, all, that, all the sparring through all the years, I'm sure it takes a toll on you know, his brain, and uh, I still feel that he probably does have CTE, I don't know, you know, but basically, I do respect him as a boxer, I think he's uh, one of the best out there, I think that if uh, Bruce Lee was a boxer, he'd be boxing just like Mayweather, and he'd be undefeated just like Mayweather would be, um, I feel that Mayweather is um, representing the, the true way of, um, talent and skill in the boxing and that basically you know if if he was a martial artist he he would probably be one of the best out there in the world but you know you don't make money as a martial artist you make money as a boxer so you know he's one of the he's probably the richest athlete out there in the world and if you look at him he's only like 145 pounds about the same weight as me and skinny and small and but yet he's the richest athlete out there one of the most talented athletes ever to live and um he's living it he's living it good um as far as McGregor is concerned I don't know anything about this guy I don't really care about him um but the only thing I saw he just shot the superstardom because he just beat this one guy in a few seconds and I just saw the clip of that and I just thought it was just stupid ridiculous because it's just like okay he just gets one good punch in and then all of a sudden now He's a superstar of the world, and everybody knows about him. It's just, I think it's just really silly. I think a lot of the UFC stuff is just really, really silly to me. You know, a lot of these people to me are not talented at all, like none of them. You know, I don't respect any of them the way that I would respect Mayweather or Muhammad Ali. Like these, you people in the UFC, MMA in general, none of them do I see to be super talented. I feel that they're all just mediocre, just not, they're amateurs, in my opinion, you know, and, and, you know, they don't prove to the, through the, through longevity and through the test of time that they've perfected their craft, you see, you know, these fighters winning, losing, winning, losing, winning, losing, is this, there's no consistency, you know, Mayweather, I highly respect that he's undefeated 49-0, and 0, um, but this guy, you know, I don't see talent in him. You know what I mean? Like, just because you get one punch in, you know, doesn't mean anything. I mean, boxers take those types of punches all the time. The only difference is they have those huge gloves on, and then the fight keeps on going. But here in MMA, it's like they got these small gloves on, and then they hit somebody one time, and then they win the fight, and then they think they're, like, the best in the world. But it's just a lucky hit. And... You're not really that great if you keep losing and you're not showing consistency um, in your craft. You know what I mean? Like something like boxing, you got people that are going over 40 wins in a row, undefeated. Wrestlers in high school and in college, I've seen somebody go, you know, a record over 100 wins in a row, no losses. Basketball players have, like, long winning streaks. Like, people, 
in order to demonstrate perfection in the art you need to or sport you need to demonstrate that consistency but you don't see that in cage fighting it's just the whole sport is just to me it's just it's just just a bunch of nonsense you know so I don't I don't agree to it I think it's a stupid thing but this person okay so the McGregor guy wins against that one guy in a few seconds and then and then after that he fights somebody I think the Diaz, Nate, I don't even know the guy's name, but maybe Nate Diaz, whatever the hell the guy's name is, and then he loses. So it's like, okay, they throw him in front of the magazines and say that he's so great and he's everything, and then he loses the next match. It's just like, okay, you know, against like a nobody. You know, it's like this guy that he lost to already racked up a bunch of losses, and then just looking at the other guy, the, the opponent's physique, he's not even all that fit. And he's just clearly just the amateur himself, and then he beats this guy who's supposed to be like considered, oh my god, like so great. I think the UFC just does a really good job just hyping people up that are just amateurs. They did the same thing with Ronda Rousey, making it seem like she's so great. And then you had the Ronda Rousey challenging Mayweather, and she's a woman challenging a man that's an entirely different sport, and he's undefeated, he's a legend. And then she just wins like 10, 10 matches against other women. And she's challenging an, another man in another sport who's a legend. And then she's garbage herself. And then she loses to an amateur kickboxer. Or a boxer. Holly Holmes. She gets knocked out like severely knocked out. Like really bad. And then she loses. She talks about that she's thinking about committing suicide. And then the Holly Holmes, the next fight she loses to somebody else. It's just, the whole thing is just a complete mess. And the facts are right there. You can see how stupid it all is. It's just like, they're all amateurs. From Ronda Rousey to McGregor to Holly Holmes to Nate Diaz to whoever... Frank Shamrock, Ken Shamrock, it's just like, whatever, it's just a bunch of nonsense, Kimbo Slice, I mean, it's just, it's a circus, that's what it is, the whole UFC is just a big circus, and people are stupid enough to tune in, give them all this money, hype it up, make a big deal out of nothing, out of no talent people, no name people, just a bunch of brawlers, just a bunch of bullies, the same type of people that you'd find in prison, tattoos everywhere, ugly, just um, scarred up, violent, aggressive, no class. It's just a, I don't respect the UFC at all. You know, and the MMA in general at all. And this whole thing about them, uh, Mayweather and uh, McGregor fighting. Mayweather's just a good business person. He just, he's bored. You know, he has all the money that you can need. He's undefeated. He's retired. He just has nothing else to do. That's why he keeps coming out of retirement, because he has nothing else to do. He's just bored. He's like, you know what, here's an opportunity for me to make another $200 million just to spar with somebody in the boxing ring. Why not do it? I mean, if, if, if people are stupid enough to pay the money to watch this stuff and, and then he can make $200 million or however million dollars just to, just to have a sparring match with somebody in a, in a boxing ring, he has absolutely nothing to lose. You know... Obviously, if he f- if if it's a legit fight, boxing match, he's gonna demolish the person because the guy knows nothing about boxing. He'd get destroyed. Like the Mc- you know, you can't just all of a sudden. Oh, you know what? You know, you're not a you've never boxed in your entire life, and then all of a sudden you're like, oh, you know what? I'm gonna fight against the best boxer to ever live, and I'm gonna train for three months and I'm gonna win. I mean, it doesn't work that way. It's like somebody that never plays basketball. It's like somebody that's a football player. You know, so all of a sudden it says, you know what, I'm going to join the NBA. 
and I'm gonna train for three months, and then I'm gonna be I'm gonna win the NBA championship. I'm gonna take my whole team to the championship. It's kind of like that. It's like people, you know, you got to understand that you can't just jump to sport to sport. Like, just because you think you're good at one sport, all of a sudden you're going to be dominating in another sport just because you think you're okay and, you know, you're great in one sport. He can't even dominate in his own sport. He, he lost to a no-name person, a Nate Diaz, whatever the person's name is. Lost to a no-name person in his own sport that he's supposed to be a perfection. Per, that he's supposed to have perfected. He can't even beat that guy. So now he wants to go into another sport against a legend who who's nobody was able to beat. Oscar De La Hoya can't beat him. You know, um, what's his name? Sugar Shane Mosley or whatever. And all these amazing boxers. Pacquiao couldn't beat him. Nobody could beat Mayweather. And all of a sudden, this no-name, this, this, this person that can't even beat... A no-name person in his own sport is trying to beat the biggest name in boxing. You know, in, in that person's sport. It's just absolutely ridiculous. You know, it's, 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 a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a circus. And if people are stupid enough to pay to watch this stuff, then they're both just going to make a killing out of it. He could just, you know, the McGregor, you just retire out of this. He doesn't care if he wins or loses it. He's gonna make a hundred million or however million dollars just, just to just to box with Mayweather, you know what I mean? Like, and boxing is not even that dangerous, you know. Like, just take a few hits, go down, pretend like you're knocked out, and then now you make now you got like three hundred million dollars. I mean, even like, you know, um, Mike Tyson towards the end of his career. He wanted to make a few more million dollars, you know, maybe 15 more million dollars. All he got to do, to do just go in the boxing ring. And then he ends up, like, you know, losing the match within, like, 30 seconds or whatever the case may be. And then he makes $30 million. It's just, like, they know, you know, especially, especially someone like Mayweather knows that, hey, you know, there's a lot of money to be made. And I might as well make as much money as I possibly can before I'm retired for good. I mean, why not just go ahead and fight somebody else for another $200 million or whatever the case may be? It's like free money. Take it. You know what I mean? Like, and McGregor's the same thing. You know, it's like he can make so much money that he never, ever had to fight in the UFC ever again or just f fight at all. He could just He's just good. He just had to do nothing else with his entire life. Just, just um, spar with Mayweather in, in a boxing ring. Take the loss, and then now you know you're rich. You're set for life, so why not? And if Mayweather, if some, if Mayweather ends up losing the match, it'd almost be like a setup to um, jumpstart MMA. To be, it's almost like his way of promoting MMA. To be like, hey, you know, I already dominated boxing, so let me help MMA make as much money as boxing. And the way that he'd do it is be like, you know what, I'll accept this loss. I'll lose to this person. And then now everybody's going to think that MMA is so amazing because you could literally um, beat up the best boxer in the world because you practice MMA. And then now everybody's going to want to practice MMA. Everybody's going to want to watch MMA because this MMA fighter beat the best boxer in the world. So it's just going to be a marketing strategy strategy to basically um, hype up MMA to be the elite combat sport, you know, over boxing. So then now, you know, everybody's going to tune into MMA because they're going to be like, you know what, ha ha ha, the best boxer in the world can't even beat an MMA fighter, ha 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 ha. Their boxers are worthless and then basically... The whole world is going to be tuned into MMA because of this, because of Mayweather losing to MMA fighter. You know, um, it's just all a way of making money. Mayweather's going to make money, McGregor's going to make money, and it's just the, the argument amongst them is just a way of setting it up just to, just to get people. Um, excited about their fight 
but they both understand and they both know there's a lot of money to be made. And McGregor himself said that he's retired. Mayweather said he's retired. But yet both their names are so big that they're both thinking in the, from a business standpoint, why don't we just make a bunch of money before we really retire? So if we could put potentially set up a fight between each other and we both come out making millions of dollars, then we're both going to win. We're going to come out winners. Why retire with what you have now when you can retire with much more? You know, McGregor has nothing to lose. His record is already tarnished. He lost to a no-name person. So if he racks up another loss, that means absolutely nothing. Mayweather, there's no way that he would lose to this person that doesn't even know how to box when he's beaten the best boxers in the world. There's no way that he'll lose unless he loses purposefully in which to put up his reputation um, in order to promote MMA and then get everybody all hyped up about it. You know, so... Um, that's what it is. It's just like, it's like, you know, like another example is like Michael Jordan, great basketball player, but, you know, he can't just go into golf and then train for three months with Tiger Woods and then be like, okay, I'm going to be the, I'm going to beat the best golfer in the world now. It doesn't work that way. Okay, great basketball player, but doesn't mean that he's just going to train in baseball for three months and be like, you know what, I'm going to be the best baseball player now. It's like, you know, it doesn't work that way. You know, so, McGregor, you can't just train in boxing for three months and all of a sudden think you're going to dominate. It doesn't work that way. Now, if it's the other way around and McGregor and then Floyd Mayweather was forced to, um, to do cage fighting under the cage fighting rules, then, um, uh, you know, he'd probably lose. You know, because that's just different. Because that's like wrestling, you know, it's like, you can't tell a boxer to just do wrestling and then be like, oh, you know, yeah, we beat you, so we're better than you. Well, obviously, you're better than him in wrestling because he doesn't even wrestle. So it's like challenging Mike, Michael Jordan in baseball and then claiming that you're better than Michael Jordan because you beat him in baseball. Baseball is not the same thing as basketball. So why don't you try to challenge Michael Jordan in basketball? You get demolished, you know. I'm talking about back in that time when he was at his peak so when you're stepping into Mayweather's game you're gonna get destroyed but if you force Mayweather to step into your game then you might win you probably will win but it's up to him whether or not he's stupid enough to agree to step into your sport for what you know what I'm saying like for what why would he do that you know he's the one who has all the money so he's gonna one who, who's he's gonna, he's gonna be the one who calls the shots I'm the person that's got millions of dollars, so I'm going to call the shots. So then now McGregor's just going to have to follow along the rules and then take the loss and then make a bunch of money. Just like, you know, Donna White is the controller of all the fighters and he calls the shots. He's, he could either let you fight or he could fire you and get, you, get rid of you. So you're at the mercy of Donna White. And, um, or these fighters are at the mercy of Donna White. He calls the shots. The, the people with the money are the ones that call the shots. Okay? Mayweather has more money than Donna White, so that's why Donna White hates Mayweather, because they're in competition. And they're representing different sports. Even Donna White's representing cage fighting, MMA, and then Mayweather's representing boxing. Mayweather has way more money than Donna White. And that's why they hate each other. So, you know... Like, it's, all, it's just all about making the money. Not one sport is better than another. That's all up for opinion. But in my opinion, they're both stupid sports, boxing and cage fighting and MMA. But in my opinion, I respect boxing much more than I do cage fighting. Cage fighting to me is just a bunch of clowns. None of them are talented to me. Because they're not 
None of them are great boxers. None of them are great wrestlers. They're great at nothing. None of them are great Muay Thai fighters either. They're great at nothing. They, 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 they can't box for nothing. They'll get destroyed by the real boxers. And if you throw in all the cage fighters against real wrestlers in like college wrestling or Olympic wrestling, they'll all get demolished. So like the UFC and the whole MMA is just a bunch of scrubs. A bunch of no-name people, untalented, unskilled. Just a bunch of people just fighting for money. I don't respect any of them. None of them. Absolutely none of them. I respect pro wrestlers more than I do cage fighters. I respect boxers more than I do cage fighters. I respect football players, basketball players, um, Olympic wrestlers, college wrestlers. I respect all those people much more than I do cage fighters. I respect Taekwondo people more than I do cage fighters. I respect the Muay Thai fighters in Thailand more than I do cage fighters. I don't respect cage fighters at all. None of them. You know, I'm just going to be honest with it. I respect judo people that go into the Olympics more than I do cage fighters. Cage fighters, to me, is like the worst of the worst. They shouldn't even exist. You know, and I hope that um, just a matter of time, they're just going to get rid of that entire sport completely. But if this fight does go on and then Mayweather ends up losing on purpose, then um, it's going gonna, it's gonna to make basically make MMA explode. You know, mark my word for that. It's going to make MMA explode because people are going to be like, oh my God, yeah, cage, you know, MMA is the best in the world, you know. This MMA fighter just beat the best boxer in the world and it's going to make headlines all over the world and international headlines and now everybody's going to want to train in MMA because it's so amazingly effective, you know. It's just a, you know, it's just a bunch of nonsense. But the truth of the matter is, they're completely different sports, and this person cannot, there's no way that he will even come close to winning against Mayweather. He's just going to get s demolished, you know, destroyed. But it'll all be worth it for him because he's going to make a bunch of money from it. You know, so that's my feedback on it.